Saturday, September 6th, morning. Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? We'll try. Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Let's deliver these up here first. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Tina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. And now, music. Ooh, look at our shadow. That's cool. Mm, these look like bills. Nothing. Ooh, interesting. Oh, careful there. Let's get the package. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's just bring the pictures pictures to the general store. Hi there. Oh, hello. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Let's deliver some mail. Is some metal detecting guy still here? I see him. Hi there. Have you found anything today? Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, a few things. Nothing spectacular. A tin can, <laughs> a hoard of ancient gold coins, and a ring pull. I was lying about the coins. Ah. Okay. Well, good luck. Thanks. I love him. He's my favorite. Actually, no. Ashley is my favorite. From Moe's diner that is in the kitchen that always is just like, just yelling some stuff that no one understands. Let's go to the camp campground. Oh, this... I remember dad oh. telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. Hello. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. What? Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! <laughs> what kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Oh. Uh-huh. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now! Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. <laughs> Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? <laughs> it has, like, really good humor. Let's head through the forest. Oops. Wow, where, where, like, who this... This mailbox belongs to. Oh, there! There is one. Oh, we have to go to Robert. He is working again. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. 
There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. Absolutely no. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Okay. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? <laughs> so, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Oh, come on. I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. I'm going to take a look what's up this trail. The Watchtower. Ugh, my old stomping ground. Oh, that's nice. Look at that view. Look at that. It's beautiful. That was a nice little expedition. <laughs> Try to drive safe. Let's get the movie box from Lori back. Hey, Lori. Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Mr. <laughs> Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. <laughs> yeah, totally tubular, right? Uh, sure, Miss W. See you Sunday. Boomer. Next letter delivered. Let's get that like guitar looking package. Let's see if someone is home. Nope. No answer. No. Let's bring back the movie box. Careful there. I have gotten your movie box. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Okay. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. Yeah, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Best not to mix these two up. Mm hmm Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. Something is bothering her, but I don't know what. Let's go to Bert and deliver the movie box. Hello? What is happening? Rude. Let's park here. Oh! He's right there! Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could ya? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just take <laughs> something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Jaws it is. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. We do not have anything else to do. So let's finish this day off. Wise Residence, Saturday evening. Hey Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I Cute. had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M and <laughs> your brain just triggers your parents' dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll 
probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. <laughs> She's so funny. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 3. Come in! were the most regretted words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by Get out! when she saw the surprised face of the carpenter's apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Sunday, September 7th, morning. I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. There is so much space. And people just start conversations with you, as if they don't have to be somewhere else. Which is probably true. So far, I delivered quite a few packages and letters, home movies, and even a living creature. I wonder what next week will bring. But not before ending this week with two meetings with friends. An old one and a very new one. Should be interesting. Hey, Em! Em! Up here! Hiya! Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. <laughs> I completely got what you just said, and I'm coming up. It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? It is. It sure is. Oh, that view gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. <laughs> Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? <gasps> that, Ew. Wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. <laughs> Ew, ugh. Did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. On the whole? It's been really good. And the company I work for has a major break coming up, so that's interesting. Oh, that sounds great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. It certainly is something to think about. I can imagine Providence Oak seems boring by comparison. <laughs> well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> juicy. Is this about something or someone? Ooh. I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. <laughs> M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. <laughs> they are so cute. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided Aww. to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. 
hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music, but I just couldn't let them down. So Aww. I stayed, helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. I can't imagine what it must have been like to make that choice. I see where you're going, but honestly, I count myself lucky in a way. It gave me time to assess. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Do you ever feel stuck? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. I don't want you to feel sorry. We all have our own lives to live, right? I mean, I guess you could have done more to keep in touch. You were really kind of a turd in that respect, I have to tell you. But <laughs> that's life, right? It's in the past. I'm just glad you're here right now looking at the lake with me it's good to know it's never too late to make new memories amen to that i'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual is there a manual i can borrow well after you left i had to raise myself didn't i <sighs> so ready to descend to the world below no just a little bit nah i think i'll stick around enjoy the view some more <laughs> The view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the invite. I'm glad I came by. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine next time, would you? Oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was good. Weiss Residence, Sunday evening. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 Monster Deal. <laughs> oh, wow. That is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. <sighs> That's a lot. But it's not a done deal yet, right? Not yet, but oh, oh, so close. I can almost taste it. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I want you, I want you. It's official. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. You're welcome. I'm never going to sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have watched the movie. 
Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but... It's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks. And I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. But what do you want to do after school then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in Dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh. Well, maybe. I think... I love that she's still wearing her gloves from work. Maybe once you're done with school, you can start traveling. Go out and see the world, like you said you wanted. Meet new people, do new things. Be a free spirit. I think that could be cool too. But I'd have to get my license first. And a car. But I guess I can save up money while I'm working for my dad anyway. And I've always wanted to see the Smithsonian Museum. Oh, oh! Or Sequoia National Park in Cali. See? Plenty of stuff just waiting out there for you to come and visit. You have two years left of high school, more than enough time to get your license and save up for a car. You're right, Meredith. Thank you. Also for talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Later.